Hello everybody. Uh, my goodness, this is like third recording on this Saturday. Uh, obviously I'm really bored. I had this... So what did I do this Saturday? I went to political meeting. Uh, before that we did one short recording and I came back. I did some shopping. Okay, I brought... I bought a bunch of t-shirts. Um, I mean, not t-shirts, long sleeve shirts. From the... You know, the uh, thrift store, you know, used good secondhand uh, store. So that's what I can afford. So, um, but I bought a lot. Uh, yeah, um, been shopping, um, Thanksgiving shopping, I don't know, I guess. Yeah. So, and then. I came home and I took a long, well, we did one more recording after I came back from shopping. So obviously I was drunk, so I went to bed and I uh, took a long nap and I woke up and it was like 7 o'clock in the evening. Okay, so, oh my goodness, what do I do for the rest of the night? And I go to club or something. I'm kind of bored, so. So yeah, we uh, earlier today, uh, I think in the second episode, I guess, uh, we did some acting exercise. I hope you enjoyed it. And I cried actually. So yeah, I, I can act, I can cry, so I can act, I guess. <laughs> I've never cried on stage. I don't know how to cry intentionally, like some actors, can do that, but I guess it's some kind of talent, a skill. But when I cried on stage, like in the last episode, uh, it was not. I wasn't acting. Yeah, I was acting. Yeah, I was playing Donald Trump and me as a presidential candidate, you know, debating him next year. But yeah, it's a fiction. It's a movie. So I guess I did cry out in the movie, huh? Well, it was all impromptu improvisation. Well, you get you get to do. There is first time for everything, right? So yeah, it's my crying in public, uh, you know, on the stage for the very first time. Uh. Yeah, the only time I cry is when I watch this wonderful movie. Oh, wonderful! Listen to this wonderful music. Yeah, I I cry uh, in those occasions, uh, and uh, at home by myself because um, some movies are just too so moving, and some TV shows. Yeah, I I, I cry at home uh, sometimes watching those movies. TV shows or singing those songs, beautiful songs. Sure, I, I, I do that sometimes, and oh well. As long as I, I don't cry in public, I guess I'm okay. But uh, well, this isn't exactly public space. Nobody's watching this, so it's okay. <coughs> Let me turn on the heater. Yeah, so, uh, what's that, uh, uh, I'm, I'm kind of blank, I'm blanking out again because, um, I had such a long nap and my brain is like all cleared out from this long nap and, um, not sure what to talk about to, in this episode, uh, uh, I have no idea, no idea, no idea. Ah, oh, boy.
what should we talk about? Any suggestions? Do you have any suggestion for me? Um, the kind of issues we want to talk about? Um, maybe I should take a break. Right, it's been just five minutes. We just started this, and yeah, because my I'm blanking. I'm just. Totally blank. Um, let's take a break and let's think about what to talk about. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, I guess we can talk about martial arts a little bit. I have many friends who are far better uh, martial artists than I am. So, yeah, I learned from them. And one of my good martial artist friends taught me how to do three finger push up. Three finger, like, like this. Three finger. One hand. Okay? And. Later on, after I learned that, yeah, I joined the U.S. Army, so, uh, yeah, I did some three-finger push-up in front of my fellow Army soldiers, my colleagues in the Army, U.S. Army, so, yeah, and then I, I became some kind of a local celebrity, I guess, because, and also, some of my uh, martial arts friends, they taught me how to punch a stone pillar, this p pillar, you know, post, anything very hard, hard surface, surface, you know, yeah, yeah, so it's way to strengthen your fingers, you know, finger push up, like this, yeah, I can still do this, back in the days, I was able to do one, one hand, three finger push up like this, okay, yes, yeah, way to st strengthen your fingers, or your knuckles, your bone, hand bone, just you don't have to do it very hard just you know at the beginning yeah you punch something very hard something that it's never gonna break okay in that way you can strengthen your knuckle your hand right but do it slowly at first and then later on you, you can do it more more strongly because uh, you are your bone will harden it's uh, kind of came from Chinese Kung Fu, okay, they, they do that stuff, okay, to strengthen their bone and, yeah, uh, so yeah, I, I learned those things, something, something exotic, 
martial art training. Yeah, yeah, from my friends, okay, so. And um, maybe talking is not what we need, huh? Maybe we should move around a little bit because, uh, yeah, you know what? I don't have much to talk now. So I'm kind of blanking out. So let's do some martial arts, huh? Because I, I kind of feel cold and, you know, we got to do some exercise. Um, let's get rid of this. It, it's too weak. I cannot punch this, no. This guy is not my worthy enemy. It's too soft, too weak. Uh, I need some something hard. Okay, how about this? It's wood, wooden furniture, wooden piece of furniture. Okay, so in the edge, yeah, it's very hard, right? Yeah, so yeah, bam, 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 bam. Ah, 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 ah. You know, Whew. now I'm hot. Okay, let's do some finger push up. Okay, uh, 10 finger push up because it's been long time since I did the three finger push up. Okay, so um, we just do 10 fingers, all right. Uh, so I, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I can do 10 fingers, that's not hard. Okay, let's do this. Ten fingers is so easy, okay? Oh, it's a piece of cake, right? One, two, three. How about one hand push up? I don't think I can do five finger push up, but yeah. So I just demonstrated to you it's not that hard. Now I'm hot. Yeah, so uh, you gotta strengthen your body and mind, okay? So uh, yeah, it's it's very hard hard surface to punch, right? Yeah, you do it like slowly, you know, at first, and then later on, yeah, you get you can punch pretty hard, okay? Like this, okay? Did you did you see anything I just did? You can't, you can't quite see this, huh? Oh my goodness. Ah, trying to find some nice target so that you can see. How about this? So that you can kind of see me. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're punching like this, you know, softly and, you know, you know. So yeah, this some something very hard, something that's not gonna break, okay? Yeah, you can you can punch in the air, that's fine, but if you wanna strengthen your, your bone, your punch, your your palm, your hand, yeah, just punch just very lightly, okay? It's not gonna break, you know. Ah, mm, you know. Ah, 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 you know. Like, uh, no, I, I'm gonna open the window a little bit, okay? Because, uh, we need some nice oxygen here, all right? So, uh, yeah, you have some logo here. I, I don't wanna, let me change my shirt so that there's no logo.
Okay. Yeah, it, it does have some logo, but it's inside out kind of. So I'm hiding it, hiding the logo. Because I don't want to violate any copyright or misrepresent any other companies. Okay, so. Um, uh, I'm drinking some beer, so. All right, so yeah, you can see me. You can kind of see me, right? Well, let's give it some better angle, huh? Okay, it's my entertainment room. Yeah, a lot of books, but I, these are law books that I studied a long time ago, okay? Uh, when I was uh, studying for the bar exam, but nowadays I don't quite read this. So it's, I don't know what to do with these books, man. Uh, whatever, I'm not gonna sell it. Uh, I have kind of, some kind of emotional attachment to it. So uh, whatever. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, eh, eh. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, mm, 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 you know. So like, yeah, I, I, I know some basics. Okay, some basic martial arts. It's fun. It's easy. You know, it's good for your health, your mind and body. Okay, so you know, like martial arts. You know, uh, you, know you can do it in the air, but punching hard surface. You know, just softly, right? Yeah, it kind of strengthens your bones and it's also fun, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's something fun to do, okay, and it's, it's good for you, very good for you, all right. So, and uh, like, uh, yeah, just watch YouTube videos and there are a lot of movie clips traditional Chinese movie clips in Kung Fu just dance with them okay martial art yeah just be that character in that movie imagine that you are surrounded by enemies and you know like ah, 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 ah. you know like uh, like uh, yeah be that character and uh, do some martial art you know like uh, it's good for you okay it's a lot of fun right and it makes you strong so, uh, okay, and, um, whew, let's take a break. Oh. It's Saturday, so, uh, we're taking a lot of breaks, and it's okay, it's Saturday, so, oh.
Okay, let's do some more um, martial arts. Okay. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not that good at it. Okay. I. You can, anyone can kick my ass. Okay. I, I'm not that good at martial arts. All right. I, but I love martial arts. I enjoy it. Okay. That's all it is. Yeah, let's do some martial arts. Okay, so it's a steak knife again. It's not gonna cut me. Okay, it's very blunt edge. You wanna see how blunt it is? Hey, it's, it doesn't cut me. Okay, because I don't like sharp knife. Okay, I don't wanna cut my fingers. Okay. Yeah, it's very cheap uh, steak knife. That's very blunt. Okay, but it's a great uh, weapon to practice with. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mm. Uh, you know, yeah, I want you to learn martial arts from a good person. I'm a good person, okay, because I'm a humanologist, okay, we are, we are nice guys, nice girls, okay, we are not violent, all right, we teach you martial arts because, first of all, you need to, pro you should be able to protect yourself in the times of danger. Also, it's a good self-discipline, self-discipline. You become stronger in mind and body. That's, actually, that's number one, okay? Because if you are very good at martial arts, nobody gonna mess with you. And you can prevent any occasions of violence because you'll be in control, okay? And you're a good person, you're a strong person, so people are not good. people will behave when you are around. Right, so yeah. I mean, we are not hurting anybody. Okay, we are just playing with knife, take knife, and it's very blunt. Ah, it's very blunt. Okay, yeah, it's not, and there's nobody here, and uh, I need you to practice martial arts in a very safe manner. I don't want you to get hurt, or I don't want you to hurt anybody. Be safe. All right. Uh, so yeah, you got just like drinking. Okay. You gotta learn to drink the right way, okay? Otherwise, you will drink, learn to drink the wrong way. Guns, same way. The very first gun I have ever used was when I was in, uh, uh, in my basic training in US Army, okay? That was the very first time I used a gun in my life and held a real gun. Yeah, during the training, okay? And I learned it the right way okay how to handle it okay you don't point gun at somebody no you you point it down you have m16 right you point it down always when you carry it like this right yeah so i learned it the right way because if you don't learn it the right way you're gonna learn the wrong way okay so martial art if you are here you are in a very good place because i'm gonna teach you the right way of doing it Okay, so yeah, we have steak knife, very blunt. It's not gonna hurt anyone. And if you're like me, you're alone. And um, yeah, then you're just having fun, okay? Yeah, this front front grip, right? Like you can do this, right? But I like this rear grip better, okay? Rear grip. It's more with style. <laughs> you can hide it completely. Nobody can see that I have knife is behind me right and suddenly right i'm exposing my weapon all of a sudden so <coughs> you know it's just like punching okay but you you do have knife okay so yeah because your mind need to be very strong okay so you and you don't do this to people or anybody you have, you have you have just playing with knife but it's blunt it's safe and it's martial art okay weapon weaponry yes traditional martial art okay so i'm not trying to teach you how to kill somebody no what i'm teaching you is uh how to discipline your mind and body okay because nowadays so many people are just weak-minded It's sad, but what do you do? What do you people do nowadays? 
you go to psychiatrists, psychologists, okay? And you take drugs. Oh, I have anxiety, I have depression, I have bipolar, oh, whatever, ADHD or... No, please. All you need is martial art, okay? Because martial art, what you're doing is, you're not fighting people. You're not fighting the demons in the air. Evil ideologies. <clears throat> because sometimes, you know, I run at night, in the middle of night, just around my blocks. When I was in the army, yeah, I, I used to run at night, you know, the running trail. Sometimes it's kind of freaky because uh, I'm all by myself and my army post has some forest and I hear some sounds, probably some nocturnal animal, right? Yeah, some nocturnal animal. So, yeah, it's spooky. Do I believe in ghosts? No. Because it's not good for you, you believe in ghosts. So don't believe it. Because it's, it's your mind tr playing tricks. Actually, it's ghostism is an evil ideology. You should never believe in that. Okay? There's no such a thing as ghosts. Okay? So it makes you sick if you believe in ghosts. So don't. Okay? So. Yeah, take, take it from human knowledge, okay? So it's one of the evil ideologies. The thinking that way, yeah, oh, there is this ghost, I see ghost. Don't ever think that way, okay? Just like you should stay away from psychologism, you know? Don't even use those words, anxiety, depression. It's bad for you. Do not get out of it. Don't have this, see the world with these glasses, eyeglasses of psychologism, because that's gonna destroy you. It's not good for you, okay? Get out of there. So, okay, so, yeah. Okay, we are not teaching you how to kill somebody because don't. We are pacifists, all right? But you should be able to discipline your mind and body because sometimes when I run at night, yeah, kind of spooky, right? So what do I do? Yeah, I'm running, right? I, I start punching. Yeah, like this. Okay? Yeah, I'm running, but I, I do this. Yeah, you know, while, while I'm still running, right? Yeah, I punch like this, and then I'm not afraid of darkness anymore. Because now my, my mind and body is strong now. So, oh, demons, come, come and get me. Because I, I'm not going to sit there and take you. I, I'll fucking bite you, okay? So, these demons, okay, this ghostism. Whatever, okay, you, you should be able to fight it, okay, and you have to be very strong mind and body Then you don't need any doctors. You don't need any psychologists, therapists. You don't need it Drugs, no You have strong mind in mind and body, okay, you have to train. That's why we are doing martial arts, all right We are not trying to make you a violent criminal, no If you are good martial arts, you are self-disciplined, so you're strong, you don't need to resort to criminalism because you'll be working. All right, you're strong in mind and body, so you'll get a job. You'll be working, and you come home after work, right? And then, yeah, then uh, like uh, yeah, you you do all this fancy martial art, right? Like uh, imaginary enemy, okay? And it's not a person. You're fighting a demon, okay? Imaginary. Yeah, it's just all fiction, okay? You're just imagining this is evil ideology, right? Oh, gayism, tattoo piercism, sugar fetish, whatever. It's not a person, it's uh, this e evil ideology, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna, I, can, I can bite you, you know? Yeah. Ah. Like, you know, like... Yeah. You know, like... Ah. 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 You know? Okay, so that's that dagger stuff. Whew. Let's take a break, okay? Oh my goodness, it's a lot of workout today. <coughs> oh boy. I love Diet Coke.
Diet Pepsi, Coke Zero, Zero Calorie, I love it. Whew. Yeah, I showed you that uh, this horseshoe mushroom, right, that I just picked from my backyard. There's this birch tree, it fell because I guess it was not healthy birch, birch tree, so. Yeah, so I picked this uh, horseshoe mushroom and the birch tree and it's good. Yeah, it's fantastic. Mm. Very good, very good. And um, so this uh, this Chinese martial art is something very beautiful. You know, you uh, you're facing your enemy and you're getting ready, right? So if you look at watch these Chinese martial art movies, look at their eyes. They have very strong, intense. Tear like this. <sighs> yeah? Can you see my eyes? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Again, I'm not that great a martial artist. So you may laugh at me. Maybe my eyes kind of look funny. But yeah, look at those Chinese martial art movies, classics, made in like 70s, 80s. Look at their eyes. It's that intense, you know? <sighs> You know, and uh, because they are very strong-minded individuals, strong mind and body, martial artists. Okay, so that's what I need you to do. Okay, that you don't need any doctors or psychiatrists, therapists. No, no, you're a strong person. Okay, so yeah, like ah 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 oh 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 yeah ah ah. Right? Or another dragon grip would be like here, you know, and growing area, right? Here, here, or here, you know, dragon grip, right? Or here, or ah. I gotta change the short pants because it's too hot. Okay, so I'm wearing white, I guess. I kind of look like Slim Shady in a mental hospital or prisoner in a prison. I don't know. Anyway, so. Yeah, uh, what's the Eminem? Yeah, he, Slim Shady, I guess it's about this uh, music video about Looney Bean, mental hospital patients. Um, it's a good music video and that song is decent you know please stand up please stand up but the real slim shady please stand up actually is kind of uh came from uh the twilight zone like just like many many hollywood movies and songs and because this twilight zone tv series by rod stalling 
back in the 70s it's kind of like an Abrahamic figure in modern American uh, cinema and entertainment business okay so there's an episode called uh, the real Martian please stand up something like that so yeah Slim Shady please stand up it came from that okay it's kind of like, yeah imitation okay but it's okay it's education education is imitation so that's fine yeah but it's just white clothing okay so anyway so uh what other martial art i guess we can do some uh this you know whoa yeah Woo. Look at me, I can do nunchucks now. I'm not good at it, but, but uh, I used to be better at it, but, uh, you know, yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, mm. yeah, do this, you know, ooh, ah. and then, yeah, okay, because so I'm trying to do this brand new move that I haven't quite practiced before, like, this re I have this real grip and I do it backward like this and then uh, ah, it's it's not easy to learn uh, brand new moves in nunchucks because it's so wobbly you know and it's so challenging and that's why it's so fun it's challenging and once you get the hang of it and nunchuk is something extremely beautiful you know like you can do all kinds of like fingering this, you know, this gesture, static pose like this, ah, you know, ah. yeah, well, Chinese martial art in general is something extremely beautiful, okay, so I don't have any more for now, but still like, ah, come, come and get me, you know, yeah, like, ah, yeah, Chinese martial is very beautiful, okay? It's exotic, aesthetic. I love it because it's so beautiful, okay? So, oh, let's take a break.
Okay, we're back. <coughs> I'm gonna wash my hands because it's kind of oily and sweaty. Yeah, I like my hands nice and dry, clean. So I wash my hands quite often. I don't like sticky hands. I, I really don't like that. So. Okay. What other martial arts? Okay, yeah, nunchucks, okay, so. Well, so, to strengthen your body and mind, you're not attacking any person, okay? You're not even imagining that you are fighting a person, okay? Because we don't want to do that. We just are fighting imaginary devil or Satan, okay? Not like this, okay? <laughs> there is a Satan, devil, evil ideologies, all right? That's what we, our enemy. We are in spiritual warfare. But yeah, you have to strong, strengthen your mind by att attacking this this imaginary, uh, you know, this uh, devil, you know, yeah, you're, you're attacking it, yeah, right, you know, yeah, yeah, you're attacking that devil, right, you know, you know, like this, right, yeah, uh, nunchuk can be an extremely powerful weapon if you know how to use it, because it can knock somebody out very fast, okay? Nunchuck is something very, very powerful weapon, but you have to know how to use it. Otherwise, you can hurt yourself like, ah! So it's tricky weapon, very challenging to use, okay? Um, but you wanna strengthen your body, right? And mind, you have to know how to do martial arts and how to, you know, like punch somebody or just you know like ah uh, uh, kick somebody a demon not people we don't even imagine we are attacking somebody okay because we love people we are pacifists but we can fight the demon this satan evil ideology yeah uh, uh, you know like uh because we need to strengthen our mind and body against all these evil, evil ideologies, okay? So, whew, that's that. Yeah, let's ventilate the air. Too much carbon dioxide build up. Where's my water? Oh, there it is. Oh, well. I have water everywhere. I love water. <clears throat> and you can do like free form martial art, like, you know, kind of like Tai Chi style, you know. <sighs> You know, <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, let's take a break from this physical stuff, okay? Um, uh. I guess we can do some humanology, okay? Because uh, we don't want to over-exercise, okay? It's, uh, our body needs some break too, okay? Um, so uh, our brain needs a break. When your brain needs a break, you exercise. Because you, you've been sitting and reading and writing, whatever, thinking all this time. So give your brain a break. 
by doing some exercises. But if you have done a lot of exercises, your body needs a break. So do some studying or reading, teaching, rest to your body, use your brain, okay? Alternate, right? So, let me grab my brand new horseshoe mushroom vodka here. Um, it's already, you know, kind of browned in vodka. You know, the juice came out and... Mm, I love this. It's good. Mmm. Yeah, horseshoe mushroom, okay, I, I broke it with my hand and it was on, on that fallen birch tree, so... It has this woody, wooden, it kind of tastes like wood. And I love it. It's so good. Mm. Fantastic. All right, so let's do some human knowledge because I came up with what to talk about now, okay? So we, we talked about this, uh, you have this uh, top dog, top dog, middle dog, and this uh, foot pyramid, top dog, middle dog, then underdog, right? And the natural flow, the natural direction of copium flow is if it's positive copium, then it goes up just like hot air goes up, right? I'm trying to get some plan. I'm trying to have some plan on this coloring because it's very important. <coughs> Natural flow will mark it with blue and it's now it's getting cold. So I'm gonna put some clothing on. Okay, so natural flow will put mark it with uh blue. Okay, so positive copy on goes up, it flows upward. That's natural spontaneous direction of copium flow and negative copium go they go down like oh because just think about in a work setting okay when your boss is angry they they put it down all this anger you it's because of you oh yeah i have medical difficulty but it's because of you because you didn't do your job in the in this office I am having marital problems between me and my wife, but it's because of you. You, you, you. Okay, so negative copium, they go down. And you? Yes, uh, yeah, it's all my fault. Uh, because, uh, yeah, I, I will do my job better next time. So, uh, I'm so sorry. I, yeah, your wife is mad at you because I didn't do my job in this office. Although, I never met your wife. Um, but it's all my fault. I'm sorry. Please don't fire me. Okay. <laughs> and positive copium, they go up. Yeah, you, your obedience. Obedience. This, you can think in talk, it's not always bad. Okay. You can think of this as discipline. Did you watch this Chinese martial art movies? Yeah, you, there's this master with long mustache, Chinese Kung Fu martial art master. And then this brand new pupil, pupil, pupil. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Martial arts student. Okay, then what happens? He got beaten a lot from this master. Okay, I'm gonna put some long pants. Getting cold. So,
Yeah, you get beaten a lot as a student because you are you're lower in the food chain and your master top dog, right? We don't have to think in terms of three. Three tier, you can be master and servant, teacher, student, parent, child, just two people, okay? High, low, you know, like yin and yang kind of stuff. All right, so uh, somebody who is higher than you, yeah, if you are underdog, if you are low guy, in the food chain, in this two people setting, king, servant, parent, child, teacher, student. Okay, that's traditional dualism in uh, China, okay, the Eastern philosophy, okay, the yin and yang kind of stuff, okay, so, uh, yeah, and um, the direction of copium flow is like that, okay, um, you know, uh, past copium, yeah, you smile. You have some smiley face when you see your boss or master. Good morning, sir. How was your weekend? <laughs> master, thank you for teaching me the martial art. Thank you. Obedience. So positive copium go up. If if you are ma my master, teacher or parent, mm, you have good attitude. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, keep smiling. That's good. You have good attitude. Okay, so and but he, when he's angry, you yeah, is because of you. I'm unhappy because of you. Ugh! Okay. <laughs> so yeah, the traditional Chinese martial art movie. Yeah, you, you are a new, brand new student to this master kung fu Shaolin kung fu master. You get beat a lot by the, your master, right? If you're a student or a teacher, yeah, you have to do all this homework. And your teacher say, he's supposed to say, because it's all about discipline, okay? Your teacher is old, you are a young student. So yeah, you need discipline. And in uh, the book of Proverbs, Solomon says, when you're angry and you're stressed out, then pour it to your young people so that they get disciplined. Okay, it's in the book of Proverbs by Solomon, okay? So, and that is good. That's correct. Young people need to be disciplined. That's how they be, can grow up and be a stronger person. No pain, no gain, my friend, okay? Yeah, young people need to be disciplined, okay? Uh, nowadays, oh, it's abuse. It's verbal abuse, physical abuse. Maybe in some occasion it is, but uh, uh, it's tough love if you do it the right way, okay? You can do it the wrong way, yeah, it's, then it's abuse, but if you do it the right way, it's disciplining, okay? So, you have to make that distinction, okay? So, tough love, you know, you're doing something out of love, but at the same time, you, are, you need to pour out your anger so, uh, to somebody and, yeah, do it to younger people. To discipline them okay but don't be too harsh you don't want to hurt them just have some balance right yeah discipline young people okay because you will make them stronger okay okay so yeah tough love okay so uh that's that and then there's this reversal of this natural spontaneous uh, direction of copy and flow, okay? What is this? Can you imagine some example of this negative copy I'm going up? How do you call it in English? What's the right vocabulary for this? There are a lot, many, but give me some example, okay, of this. Negative copy I'm going up. What are some examples of this? I'm not going to tell you again that what negative copium means because by now you should know. I'm not going to backtrack again and again and again. By now you should know, okay? Because we are more than 100 episodes of doing this and um, 
Okay? Is this water or vodka? It is water. Oh, sh <laughs> whatever. We'll take a break, okay? So I, I want you to come up with an example of this. Negative copion going up. It's a reversal of natural direction of copion flow, okay? Come up with some example of that, all right? Oh, it's so refreshing. I love washing my face. So refreshing. <coughs> so have you come up with any example? Have you? It's human knowledge. Human knowledge is so fun. You know, yeah, I gave you homework, but I'm sure you love it because it's our world, our life. So negative copy I'm going up. What is it? Some example. Rebellion. <laughs> Mutiny. Resistance. Okay. Rebel without a cause. Rebel without cause. Yeah, the James Dean stuff, right? Rebel against uh, authority, like demonstration, you know, the, the picket, you know, oh, gay marriage, gay, give us gay marriage. You protest to in, in front, in front of the building of your United States Supreme Court or White House. 
protest, resist. Okay. Yeah, negative popium going up, right? Or uh, how about positive copium going down? What are some examples of that? <sighs> yeah, I give you like ten seconds, okay? Whew. What are some nice example of that? <sighs> I think we talked about this before. Okay, your time's up. Well, charity, right? Giving some money to the poor, or maybe if you are a boss, yeah, holiday bonus. He doesn't have to do it, but if he's nice, it takes some effort to do it, right? Uh, but positive co copium going up, that's like spontaneous, it's automatic. It's just natural flow of copium, right? Direction. Yeah, you obey your boss. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I will do what you say. Past uh, copy, I'm going up. But past copy, I'm going down. It takes some effort in the in this higher hierarchy echelon. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I don't really like giving bonus to you guys, but yeah, I give you holiday bonus. Okay. It does not feel so natural to me, but I will take some extra effort and give you a holiday bonus. How about that? Okay. So you got the idea, okay? So, uh... <sighs> okay. Let's think about this in a more natural setting. Not between human beings, but in terms of animals, okay? Because that probably will demonstrate you better about this natural direction of copium flow. <coughs> okay? All right. In the world or in nature, yeah, you don't have this reversal direction because it's nature, okay? They're animals, so. Food is like ecosystem, okay? Um, food hierarchy. Tiger. In the middle you have what? Rabbits. Antelopes. Deer, moose. Here you have top apex predator, tiger or eagle or snake isn't quite apex predator because eagles they eat snakes. Okay, so yeah, tiger or bear. Okay, in the middle you have salmon and deer or. rabbits all the way at the bottom there are plants so you have plants herbi herbivores you know ve vegetarian animals herbivores herbivorous animals then you have carnivorous animal okay food hierarchy uh food chain uh ecosystem Whew. so uh Positive copium going up is like the higher animal feeding on the lower animal. Okay, so negative copium going down. Okay, let's say there's tiger and there's a rabbit. Okay, so tiger catches, kills, and eat this rabbit. Negative copium going down. Why? I want you to explain this in copio in in the language of copiamology, copiamology in the language of copium. Tiger is a rabbit. Is negative co copium transferring from tiger to the rabbit? How would you say this in terms of copiamology? 
copy and transfer. I give you like ten seconds, okay? Uh, I I need more oxygen. Oh man, because I've been doing exercises, right? I want to breathe. I'm gonna breathe a lot uh, more. High pop ventilation. All right, that's enough. And because on Saturday, I don't normally exercise. Okay, uh, but we did some so. <sighs> okay. What's your answer? Tell me. Is this negative copium is coming down from tiger to a rabbit, meaning negative copium pain. Tiger had this pain of hunger. It bothers him. So okay, I'm gonna catch this rabbit now. The pain in tiger is being transferred to the rabbit. Rabbit is like, ah! I feel this pain. And tiger is like, yum yum. Rabbit was happy once before, like yesterday or one minute ago. Rabbit was feeding on these poor plants. Munching, munching, munching. Oh, greens. Mmm, yummy. You know, he was this rabbit was eating all these poor plants. He was happy. I'm full. Yeah, there are plants everywhere here. Grasses and this whatever plants. Yeah, they're everywhere. So I'm happy. I I can never die of starvation. Why? Because I eat plants. There are plenty of plants. Yeah, I'm happy. And Tiger is looking at the rabbit like. Oh well, your fate's gonna change. Cause I'm gonna eat you, baby. <laughs> yeah, so Tiger catches this rabbit and because I'm hungry. Oh, I'm suffering from the starvation. And I see that rabbit so plump and happy. I'm gonna eat that rabbit. I'm gonna kill it, catch it, kill it, and eat it. Mmm, yummy. But rabbit is like, ah, you're killing me. You're eating me. Oh. I, I'm feel, feeling this pain. So happiness transfers from the rabbit to the tiger. At the same time, pain transfers from tiger to the rabbit. Okay, so copium transfer is always two way, two ways. Okay, because positive copium is like this. Okay, you have these two cups. Okay. Let's say this is empty cup and this is full with va <clears throat> Do I have some empty cup? Let's do this. Let's do this demonstration or exercise experiment, okay? Empty cup, cup full of water, okay? I oh man, this water is gross. I'm gonna get some clean water, okay? I'm gonna get some cleaner cup too because that, that cup was kind of old and kind of moldy. Oh. <laughs> okay, a cup full of water and an empty cup, okay? This is this positive copium, alright? Oh, yeah, look at me. This water reflection is kind of funny. It's kind of like this. What? Uh, uh, con convex glass magnifier kind of you know look at me I'm a split personality <laughs> schizophrenic 
monologues, split personality, acting, whatever. It's just a joke, okay? <laughs> okay, so you have this water cup full of water and empty water. When you transfer from this cup A to cup B, watch what happens. Now this cup, this positive copium transfer from cup A to cup B, but negative copium, lack of water, air, transferred from cup B to cup A at the same time, right? So because that's the interrelationship between uh, positive copium and negative copium, okay? It's metaphysics of the universe. Copium means something valuable, something of quantity, okay? So, negative copium is devoid, void, lack, absence of positive copium. That's what negative copium is. Okay? So, it's like two sides of the same coin. Positive copium and negative copium, okay? So, if you are happy now because you were unhappy yesterday. If you are happy now because somebody else is unhappy, okay? Copium is, you cannot create a copium out of nothing, all right? So, okay, let's do copiumology. Copiumology is metaphysics, okay, of the universe because it's something extremely generic, okay? Metaphysics meaning you have form and you have substance, okay? So, form, the su surface, superficial phenomena, they always change, right? Like, uh, let's say, uh, but there's this underlying, unchanging, eternal substance. We call it metaphysics. Physics, yeah, this visible, tangible thing, examples, instances, in computer programming world, yeah, there's class and there's object in you know, object oriented computer programming okay uh, so you have class and objects objects are also called instances examples for for, for example okay there's this concept of an apple that never changes but there is each individual examples of an apple you have green apple red apple orange apple, pink apple. Yeah, all those apples in the in Walmart or grocery store, right? But those are individual instances. They are not everlasting because you eat it and that apple is dead. Or this apple, you don't eat it, it will go bad. It will get moldy and yeah, it dies, right? But this concept of an apple in your head, this idea of an apple, it's eternal, it never dies, and it never changes either. There were apples like 1,000 years ago. The people used to eat, people did eat apples thousands of years ago. All those apples that existed thousand years ago, they are no longer here. Maybe they are fossilized, but they are all dead. But this concept of apple survives. It's something eternal. That's the substance. Okay? Form is this instances, the superficial phenomena that go away. But substance, something eternal. Okay? We call that substance metaphysics. And physics, yeah, this tangible thing. But the, but the concept of an apple is not, it's invisible. You can imagine the picture of it, but this concept of apple is definition. It never changes, but it's, it's not visible. It's invisible concept. Okay, you have concept. Okay, that's what we are talking about here. Metaphysics. All right. Okay, it's a review. We talked about this before, but we are just giving it a different spin. Okay. So we are kind of circling, okay? Circling. We do copium channel, we do copium accounts, we do copiumology, copium transfer, you know, 
better and we go it again 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 in a circle okay because uh and actually we are evolving because uh, we are circling but we are getting bigger and bigger and bigger okay evolution all right so okay um so yeah copy homology let's do that okay so positive copium and negative copium if we just cover that is uh but uh now we need to talk about we are kind of ready to talk about die dualism okay it's a dual dualism die means two i think it's in greek you know in chemistry yeah you use the mono die try yeah die by it means two right uh, i think by is roman latin and die is from greek i don't know okay so die dualism is like this okay okay it's like this tai chi symbol from uh chinese taoism or tradition this is very ancient it's like thousands of years old uh tai chi symbol okay yeah there's the korean flag or pepsi cola logo they use this or in a more secular setting yeah like 69 right Swazangnef, whatever right yeah it's that okay uh but uh it's something very universal okay because um it's an exchange model model of exchange okay like uh, in a you go to a store you buy an apple right so uh copium transfer is like this okay so you are the customer so you are the king because you got the money and there's this humble merchant in a grocery store so you are the client okay customer and below there's this merchant or seller okay you're a buyer and below here is seller you got the gold you got the dollar the greens the money okay so okay i give you money oh thank you thank you thank you for purchasing my apple so dollar goes down okay and apple goes up okay in this exchange uh buyer seller dollar apple apple okay so in this exchange uh you are losing money you let's say one apple is one dollar okay so you are losing a dollar and seller is gaining a dollar apple he's losing on apple and you are gaining on apple so that's plus minus he's losing on apple you're gaining on apple you're losing a dollar and he's gaining a dollar okay exchange so that's the humanology, humanological interpretation of this Tai Chi symbol, okay? Di, we call it Tai dualism. This, there's dualism here, up here, and dualism here, and dualism here on the left side, and dualism on the right side, and dualism on the upper side, dualism on the lower side. So it's double dualism, okay? There's four components, plus, minus, minus, plus four components it's a dual dualism we call it die dualism okay and we'll take a break because it's too close oh it's making me dizzy we'll take a break
Okay. Um, uh, you know, in humanology, uh, we emphasize mathematics. Okay, because uh, if you're not good at math, that's fine. I will teach you right here, right now. Okay, so uh, in th there's this concept of recursion, recursive stuff. Recall, repeating itself, right? And there's something in this water. Ooh. Time to get it out because I want my water clean. This piece of some lint. Eh, whatever. Okay, so in mathematics, this concept of recursion, okay, recursive, is something very universal actually, okay? Recursion, like self repetition, okay? So, oh boy. We need to talk about recursion, okay? Because this copium analogy, copium transfer is kind of recursive, okay? So, you know what? I'm impatient, so I'm gonna say the conclusion first, okay? So, positive copium, okay, copy this exchange, okay? You have Apple going up, money going down, right? Customer, buyer is the king because they got all the dollars that the sellers compete, or compete for. They compete each other, compete for this one buyer, right? It's like a market operation, okay? So they advertise and, oh, they beg, please buy my Apple, please. Okay, I'll buy your Apple. Whatever, right? So Apple go up, money go down. So this die dualism, right? But at the same time, if you just look at this one half of this transaction, Okay, I'm going to use different color here. You see, uh, human knowledge is very fun, very interesting. Okay, and it's so easy, intuitive. Okay, let's divide this in half, cut this apple in half. Okay, so this is apple, forget it. We only will think about money moving downward. Okay, so, and there is die dualism in this single one half of this transaction money going down absence of money going up it's the idealism why positive copium now is here and this this but the, so in this half transaction here now after this transaction of, let's say money donation I'm just giving one dollar to somebody okay now I'm losing money so there's this absence of positive copium at the same time this negative one dollar poverty is getting transferred here and now you a beggar homeless person have absence of this negative copy of. okay it's recursive what is a recursion is this let's say there is this apple or pizza okay you divide divide in half and you divide again become four for each square you have four squares right you're dividing again now how many do we have eight so there's one and then there's two and there's four and then there's eight we divide again now we have 16 we divide again how many sorry two we divide again
from 64 squares here, okay, rectangles, okay. That's recursion, okay, that's uh, recursive structure in the nature, uh, because recursion is everywhere in the universe, all right, so, for example, you have Earth and you have Moon, Moon orbiting around the Earth, and you have other satellites, right? So you can have a planet can have many moons orbiting around it. So you have planet and moons or satellites, right? That's first first uh, step. The next step, you have sun, a star, and you have many planets. Each of which have several moons, planets. Each of which have several moons. And one star, many planets. Each of which have several subordinates. The moons, okay? What's the next level? Galaxy. Galaxy. So you have the star system, right? Star and planets and moons. It's like grandfather, sons and daughters, and grandchildren. The children of each of your sons and daughters. Okay, and there's this big galaxy. And you have this galaxy, around this galaxy, you have multiple star system, this solar system orbiting around. Okay, so that's recursion, recursive structure of the universe. Okay, yeah, like. You have grandfather, and then you have sons and daughters of this grandfather, father, okay? Grandfather and parents, and you, the grand grandkids of this grandfather. It, we can go to the next level, like great-grandfather, great-grandparents, okay? Yeah, recursion is everywhere. And think of this, okay, we, it's planet, cosmology stuff. Well, think about a tree. You have this one stem this trunk right and you have branch each branch have this brig each brig has this leaf three leaf grandfather father grandchildren and your own children okay recursion okay so, yeah, that's it, okay. Uh, <laughs> easy, all right? Yeah, very easy. So how did mathematician model this recursion? Um, it's uh, in computer programming world, uh, we have what's called a recursive function, okay? So, uh, I think we covered this before, okay? But just for fun, okay, we'll do it, we'll do it again. Um, I'm not asking you to be a computer programmer, but just sit back and enjoy, okay? Just enjoy. I guess it's time to buy a brand new eraser because it's so laborious. Oh, it takes too much effort here. Oh. It's too light. That's why it's taking more effort. I, I need some heavy eraser. So, recursive function uh, is like this. Uh, there's this Italian mathematician called Fibonacci, okay? Fibonacci number is like uh, in mathematics, Fibonacci number is like this. One, one, you add the two and become two. And you add previous two elements, then you become three. The previous two elements, two and three, five. Three, five, eight. Five, eight, thirteen. Thirteen, eight. 21 blah 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 okay so the Fibonacci sequence okay mathematically it's like this a1 is 1 a2 is 1 
and a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2. Previous two elements, you sum it up and then you got the present element. Okay, so it turned out to be exponential kind of function, okay? So it has this fancy mathematics formula, but I, we're not going to go there because we are lazy. But it's beautiful formula, okay? Maybe some approximation using some, I don't know, gamma function or some fancy inter integral equation. I don't know. I, I don't know too much about mathematics. I just know a little bit, okay? I know a little bit of everything, just like you, okay? All right, so, so that's Fibonacci sequence in mathematics, okay? Uh, so how do we do this, program this in computer? I taught you how to program in JavaScript, right? You don't need any compiler, you don't have to download anything, okay? If you have I don't know about Macintosh, but probably it's the same, okay? But if you have PC, because I don't own any Macintosh, Apple, okay? But I, I'm sure it's the same. If you have PC, you know, laptop, yeah, you can program right away. You don't need compiler. You don't have to download anything. You use just notepad. You write JavaScript there, and then you run it in a br web browser. It's an interpretation, interpreted language, okay, interpreted language. So, yeah, any web browser, it has power to interpret the JavaScript. It's kind of like compiler, okay? Yeah, so let's program this in JavaScript. Sure. Uh, I know JavaScript, okay? I used to be a computer programmer. I kind of miss it, okay? When I was a computer programmer, I hated it. But now that I'm a paper pusher, when I was a programmer, I wanted to be a paper pusher, office worker, the student tie. But now that I'm an office worker with student tie, I paper push, push paper all day, every day, scan, copy, fax machine, whatever. I kind of miss being a computer programmer. So grass is always greener on the other side. Why? Because after you do one thing for a while, oh, you get it gets old. So yeah, let's do some computer programming, okay? In JavaScript. So you open some notepad and you save it as a dot htm or html. So then it becomes a yeah, save as all file type like star dot star right in the notepad. This is how you name it, okay? HTM extension. It's not TXT. It's not text document. It's web page document. All you got, you need to write there is this script. Because default script in any web browser is JavaScript. And this HTML tag. Okay? Between that, uh, you declare some variables, okay? And it's been a while, okay? So if I make some mistakes, you have to understand, um, okay? Give me a break, okay? So variable, x, Is equal to one. You assign x. Okay, let's say x one. Okay, you can name your variable like this x one. Okay, and semicolon and variable x two is equal to two. Oh, sorry. Equal to one. But I, I guess you don't even need this, okay? We are trying to do some recursive function here, okay? So, you don't even need this, okay? So, but this is how you declare a variable, okay? Because variable is like a cup. It contains something. Here, x1 contains number one. 
it's a memory memory location in the computer okay and um, just like a cup you can hold orange juice apple juice or water or vodka you have one cup okay in variable variable x1 can contain number one or number two or number three or it can contain a character a b c z okay it's like a cup hold, place holder, cup holder, some container, okay? That's what a variable in pro computer programming is. We are doing this for fun, okay? Don't be a hacker. I Be a good programmer, okay? I'm teaching you all this because I'm a nice guy. I, I want you to learn things like martial art, dagger, or computer programming. I want you to learn it from a good person. Because this is Holy Spirit knowledge. In human knowledge, Holy Spirit means good knowledge, good spirit, morality, ethics, okay? So, um, okay. There's one more thing I kind of wanted to talk about, and I kind of forgot. Um, let me try to jog my memory. What did I want to talk about? Um, I don't want to miss anything, okay? So. What did I want to talk about? Maybe come back to me later, okay? We got, we have plenty to talk about because Saturday evening, I'm alone at home, so we have plenty of time. Yeah, let's just do JavaScript, okay? So, yeah, function, okay? You have function f. Ah, oh, it's been such a long time, okay. Oh. Function. And it's an input, okay? Okay, let's declare this variable. Variable and... Okay. Return. Okay. If... n is less or equal to less or equal to is like this okay but in computer programming language yeah we, we do something like this less or equal to uh, two then you return output one else return f n minus one plus f n minus 2 okay else meaning opposite of this n is less or equal to 2 opposite of that is n is more than 2 let's assume this input is some positive number like 1 2 3 4 5 okay so yeah semicolon okay so that's that Okay, so yeah, that's the whole JavaScript, okay? So, uh, of course, you need to have some, I guess, HTML um, 
you have this input tag, right? Text input box. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's all HTML. Okay, so uh, you have input, output. Uh, if you want to have this input box and you click on this button and it gives you output, actually that's more than, more than uh, JavaScript, okay? Because you need some server side scripting like ASP or ASP.NET, okay? Yeah, it takes more than, uh, if you want to do this input and output, okay? You have this input box, you, some user of your web page input some number and this person clicks in that web page and it has to come to your server machine to do some calculation and then give back the input output to back to the user in the web browser so it takes more than just javascript because javascript is more client side there's server side programming like asp.net or asp and then there's a client side computer programming is uh, the JavaScript okay so it's client side server side okay so if this intrigues you yeah then learn computer programming and you can do it for free okay just go to any web pages YouTube channels Wikipedia you can learn all about it okay for free we are living in a great nice fantastic world where knowledge is free online in the internet okay so take advantage of that okay all right so what is f but still once you do just this javascript yeah you can you can still uh play with this okay because you can assign this n as five number five n equal five and you, we are running out of space. Do you want to know what is the fifth element in this Fibonacci sequence? You declared n as five, or, or you can declare this n as 100. What is 100th element of this Fibonacci sequence? Yeah, just write down 100 here. How do we call this function? Yeah, just this f. N. That's how you call a function. But you want some output, right? So you write this document dot write F N. All you gotta do is change this, okay? To five hundred, five thousand, then Okay, then you save and you close this notepad document, a.htm, okay? And you double click it and your default web browser like Internet Explorer or, or Firefox or Google Chrome or whatever your default browser is, web browser. Safari, Opera or Netscape or... Netscape isn't quite web browser. I think it's a search engine, I think. No, I, I think it used to be a web browser, but I don't think it's... Yeah, I, I love that Netscape. It's old school, okay? I'm not sure if that is there anymore, but... Uh, yeah, Microsoft Edge or Explorer, Windows Explorer. Yeah, whatever default web browser of your computer is. You double-click it. Yeah, then it will open up this web page that's running on your computer. And if you put five there, one one two three five so even out for five okay so, so five is not such a good number huh? they put seven what's the seventh element yeah even calculate it will call it's a recursive function because this function is calling itself okay not every computer programming language supports this recursive function like some ancient old programming language like Fortran. I have program in Fortran, okay? Or like COBOL or Pascal. I'm not sure those 
old program languages support this recursive function okay but I'm pretty sure JavaScript does okay so yeah so what's the Fibonacci seventh element in Fibonacci sequence you have one one two three five eight thirteen thirteen okay yeah in this web page you you document that right is like print okay it's like it's JavaScript function that outputs in this web browser okay so yeah, you, you show it under that window web browser uh, number 13 okay that's what was gonna show so yeah power of computer programming is uh, it's um, very powerful because if n is 100 oh you have to do one one two three five eight 13 ah oh, you gotta do this 100 times okay so, but if you know computer programming language snap right but nowadays uh there are so many computer programmers and thanks to them they're fantastic okay good computer programmers so you go you bing or google your fav favorite web search engine and then you type fibonacci sequence and they will have this web page okay what's the nth fibonacci sequence number you type in 100 and click enter and uh, it will give you yeah probably plenty of web computer web pages are doing all that service to you already because um many computer programmers are pro bono they love computer programming and they do it for free okay or they have some smart business model where they have this advertisement in their website and they make money okay so yeah okay so so how does this work okay so it's kind of like it, uh, again I told you it's recursive okay it's kind of really look like a tree okay so you call let's say F7 okay what is F7 is 7 less or equal to 2 no then return F n minus 1 plus f n plus 2 n minus 2 f you're calling this function f6 n minus 1 and f uh, n minus 2 7 minus 2 is 5 right so you're calling this function now f6 what is f6 f 5 plus f4 okay man we are, we are this is recorded okay you can always rewind back because we are running out of space so we're gonna uh erase everything and we start we'll start our new okay so i mean it's not that difficult to even memorize okay so we are running out of space, all right? Yeah, it's very geeky, nerdy, but there's nothing wrong with that. Education, okay, it's so important. All right, F7, okay, F7, F6, F5, F5, F4, F4, F3, my goodness, I guess I'm such a loser, don't I have anything better to do than this on a Saturday night, ah, goodness, this is hurting my right shoulder, so F4, F5, F3, you know what, I'm gonna omit F parenthesis, okay? Three, two, three, two, two, one. Three, 
two, two, one, uh, two, one. Now, here, F2. F2 is equal to 1 now, okay? Now we got to the bottom, okay? 1. Alright? F3. 2, 1. F2, 1. It's the leaf level element, okay? 2, F2, 1. So leaf level, F1 is 1, right? One, one, F1, F2, they are all one. One, 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 one. Now you have F2 and F1, and F2 are one. One, one. How many ones are there? Whew. I hope we didn't make any mistakes. So seven, F7, uh, Fibonacci of seven is, uh, seventh element is supposed to be 13. Uh, do we have 13 ones here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Voila. Okay. So that's how this computer programming works. Okay. In terms of this recursive function. It looks like a tree, right? Isn't it beautiful? I think it is. I think it's beautiful. This we are doing this Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci probably or ma Italian mathematician in what? Maybe fourteen hundreds. I don't know. You you look it up, okay? And six hundred years later, we are doing we programmed because Americans and. Yeah, Americans and some Europeans, they invented this computer programming and this computer and you, now you have laptop, you have JavaScript and Notepad and computer web, web browser and Internet Explorer and you can actually program this without downloading anything. It's already in your computer, okay? JavaScript. So, and we talked about this recursive structure of the universe like planets, stars galaxy and we have these trees this trunk branch and bricks and leaves we talk about talked about family tree great grandfather grandfather your father you your own children looks like a tree so this tree structure is the concept everlasting omnipresent is everywhere and is all times it's like forever and it's everywhere it's like this concept of this hierarchical this tree structure recursive structure of the universe it's everywhere okay this concept all right and all this fibonacci sequence or your family tree or tree over there or yeah those are instances examples of this concept this substance there are a lot of different forms in different times and different spaces but there are only one and only metaphysical structure tree recursion okay so I found I hope you find this very interesting and very beautiful like I do I think it's beautiful Okay, it's, it's all about intellectual entertainment, all right? Look at me, I, I'm not having sex. I'm not smoking marijuana. I'm not tattooing or piercing. No, I don't need it, why? Because I know mathematics. I know computer programming. I know martial arts. Yeah, I'm drinking alcohol, so what? Alcohol, there's nothing wrong with drinking alcohol, as long as you do it the right way. I want you to learn it from me, okay? 
Yeah, Holy Spirit, okay? Holy Spirit is about ethics, good stuff, knowledge, evil spirit, un unclean spirit, in a biblical language, meaning uh, evil ideologies, like gayism, tattoo piercism, sugar fetishism, promiscuousism, okay? Marijuanaism, all that bad stuff, unclean spirit. Evil ideologies, the devil, Satan, that's gonna destroy you. Okay, Holy Spirit, yeah, mathematics, physics, science, humanology, good, proper drinking alcohol, proper smoking, mod modesty, ethics, morality, Holy Spirit. Okay, so I'm running for president in 2020 because I want, I need to pump in the Holy Spirit to you Americans or anywhere in the world okay so that I see myself as uh, John the Baptist okay so who will be the Jesus you okay so when you become the Jesus Jesus is yeah you will save the world it won't be me <laughs> it will be you I'm just one guy I cannot save the world no it's gonna be you okay so I'm going to baptize you with water and you will baptize other people with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I'm John the Baptist, you be the Jesus. When you are the Jesus, start saving the world, I will just fade into the background. It will be your world. You are the Jesus. You will be saving the world, okay? So that's my presidential campaign and because yeah, I'm a single guy, okay, I, I, I don't uh, get to have sex, and it's Saturday night, and we are having fun though, I mean, yeah, uh, single guy having sex with this girl, that girl, yeah, it's dangerous, because you don't want to get STD, okay, so, what is STD? Any diseases are communicable diseases, venereal disease, you know, any disease like can be transferred unless it's like some genetic disease right common cold you know or athletes foot or even bad bugs fleas or any diseases like uh, common cold or pneumonia or yeah they're they all caused by bacteria fungi Fungus, bacteria, virus. Yeah, of course, because if you are sexual intimate, sexually intimate with somebody, you're kissing, hugging. So whatever germ that you have will be transferred to the, your bedroom partner, and whatever that person has, it will come to you. You're kissing, you're exchanging body fluid and rubbing, and yeah. So sex is not a safe thing to do. And you don't want to be responsible for transferring some disease to that person that you claim that you love. Well, if you are married, if you are monogamous, then yeah, uh, it's not too bad. Okay, but uh, if you just sleep around with different people, then oh, you don't want that. Okay, so. Yeah, we are having fun with this intellectual discourse okay um hey, it's beautiful isn't it yeah i think it's so beautiful we are doing computer programming fibonacci sequence and it looks like a tree okay <laughs> so beautiful okay let's take a break all right so i don't know what else to do next um, we've been doing enough brain job, brain work, so maybe we'll do some uh, exercise, maybe some dancing, maybe. Okay. We'll leave this beautiful Fibonacci tree right here, okay? We're not going to erase it because it's such a beautiful tree. Um, Alright, we take a break. And let me pour my. Let me refill my wine because uh, it's almost out. Mm. 
Mm. I love this acidic wine that's been sitting outside for a while. I like that acidity. So yeah, this bacteria, whatever, fungi, virus, I don't know, microbes, they're doing a great job acidifying my wine. Mm. Fantastic. Okay, we'll take a break, okay. Okay, uh, we're back. Um, almost, we are almost back. I gotta put this in my calendar uh, to buy uh, some toms because uh, it's good because I, I get calcium in toms. Um, you know, over the counter of medicine, toms, generic version um, because. Uh, I'm kind of doing alcohol fast, alcohol fist or fast. I'm drinking on a kind of empty stomach, so yeah, it bothers my esophagus, whatever. Uh, well, so yeah, I, I, I take those tums. Uh, okay. Let's do some dancing, okay? Because uh, you want to strike some balance between brain work and the rest of the body work, exercise and studying, okay? So, we're going to do some dancing, okay? And uh, there's no music. Because we don't, we don't want to violate any copyright, so I will sing, okay? <laughs> yeah. 
Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, turn on this uh, disco light. How about that? Okay. Get some disco light and let's uh, turn off one of the light. It kind of gets happy a little bit. Okay. Yeah. How, how what what if I turn this off too? It's like yeah, it's extra choppy, right? But yeah, it's kind of looks like disco now. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, I got this. I have two disco lights and I got it from Amazon. Okay, it's like what twenty bucks? I don't know. Long time ago. Yeah, it works very well. Yeah, it's very pretty. Okay, so uh, you know do 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 do. do. Dude, ooh, yeah, I know what you want, I know what you need, baby, but I will screw it all, cause I'm a dear, I'm a, and I'm your boyfriend, yes I am, I will take you out. Well, that's what Jimmy Fallon, idiot boyfriend, it's a fun song, and um, what are some other dance songs? I'm trying very hard. Okay. You gotta give me some credit for this because it's. I had this long nap, right? And um, now I'm holding my ass to do some dancing for you because I need you to learn dancing, okay? You know, let's turn the light back again. Let's just do the basics, okay? Sometimes it's easier that way. Okay, disco light, well, you saw it, so just giving you some example, okay, because I need you to learn dancing, alright, because if you don't know how to dance, then, but you still need some fun, if you don't dance, if you don't do martial arts, you have to do all this bad stuff to have fun, like tattoos, piercings, crimes, Marijuana Because you are not you need some fun, but you are not doing the right way. So you will do, have fun the wrong way That's why I need you to learn martial arts dancing Which is good for you you're exercising, right? Yeah Woo! I'm exercising. I'm moving my joints my knees elbows my yeah my head it's good for you, you know? Yeah, it's fun. I'm having fun, but I'm not tattooing myself. I'm not piercing myself. I'm not gay. I'm not transgender. Yeah. I'm not smoking marijuana. But I'm still having fun, okay? Okay, so. Yeah. Man, I'm getting real hungry now. <laughs> but. We have 50 more minutes to go, okay? So we, we're gonna do this. Because uh, we wanna do our best to better ourselves and better other people around us, okay? So that's a humanitarian thing, okay? So we wanna improve ourselves, we wanna improve other people, okay? Yeah, let's be better people, okay? So, uh, uh, I'm a very obscure kind of guy. It's called Black Horse Candidate. You know, there's this gentleman, fine gentleman, Donald Rumsfeld, who was the Secretary of the State, I think, during the George Bush Jr. time. And um, actually, I met him. I met him in person when I was in the US Army. Yeah, he paid us a visit because he wrote a book and I read it. It's a good, very good book. It's a memoir. Yeah, it's a very good book. And so he came to our base when I was in the US Army just before I deployed to Afghanistan. Okay. Yeah, it's book signing. So he came to our base. So I shook his hands and took the picture with him and very nice gentleman. Okay. Why am I talking about this? Um, I forgot. Oh.
I forgot what to talk about uh, on that. <coughs> yeah, fantastic gentleman. Okay, so uh, I forgot. Yeah, great gentleman. Okay, he's good, very good person. And um, yeah, I forgot why I'm bringing this up. Um, whatever. Okay, let's do some dancing. Okay. Um, I'm kind of getting cold again. And we turn the heater and I'm gonna put on my jacket and warm up and but we can still dance, okay? Oh boy. All right, humanitarian effort. All right, so. <sighs> yeah, dancing, okay? Because I need you to have fun, enjoy your life in the right way. Because if you don't know how to dance, if, it's all about education, okay? If you don't know how to martial art, what's some easy, what are some easy way to have fun? Maybe you become a gay guy. Okay, so because it's easier for guys to get together. For me to get a girl, that's very difficult. So yeah, you become gay and you get this old gay things. It's bad for you. Why? Because it's going to ruin you. Because you get AIDS, STDs, because you're not going to be satisfied. So you get together with other gay guys. So yeah, this gay sex binge. Binge gay sex, sex orgy. Yeah, you get STD, you don't want that, okay? So, yeah, don't do that, okay? So, it's because you don't know martial arts, you don't know how to dance, you, you are not quite enjoying yourself, so some, you find some easy way out to have fun. Like, you eat sugar, fat, like you eat cheese, you eat donuts, cakes, pies. It's easy way to have fun, right? And then you get obese, you kind of balloon up and you get sick, you get injured, expense medical cost, driving the medical cost, oh, come on. okay? Because you don't know how to dance, you don't know how to martial art, you don't know how to sing, you don't know how to drink properly, you don't know how to smoke cigarettes properly, so you do marijuana, you can't remember a chef because smoking marijuana, yeah, it wipes out your short-term memory, so yeah, it ruins you. And you start doing tattoos, oh, piercings. Easy way out, right? To ease your boredom. You don't have to do that. I have no tattoos, I don't have any piercings. I'm not gay, I'm not transgender. I don't smoke marijuana, but I'm having fun. Why? Because I know how to dance. I learned it, I studied how to dance. I know martial arts because I studied, I learned it. Now I'm having fun, okay? Good hobbies, you need to have good hobbies. Then you can have fun and you're still tattoo free, piercing free, marijuana free, gay free, okay? Yeah, they're a good way to enjoy your life, okay? Yeah, you don't have to steal, commit murder, rape, no, no. That's why education is so important. And that's what I'm doing for you right here, right now. I'm teaching you how to dance, how to, I'm teaching you how to do martial arts, this Dagor style, you know, yeah, and this like, oh, I have Dagor, you know, oh. We are having fun, okay? We are not hurting anybody. <laughs> yeah, let's do this martial arts, you know, right. you know, like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. You know, martial arts, right? Yeah, you're having fun, right? We are not hurting anybody. We are not hurting ourselves. No. It's great exercise. We are helping ourselves. We are making ourselves stronger, better, okay? That's what we are doing here, right? That's the goal of humanology. Humanology is about Better mountain, salvation of humanity, okay? 
through knowledge, education. That's what human knowledge is about. Okay, so. Yeah, let's do some dancing, okay? So, uh, I gotta come up with a nice dance song. Uh, how, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, uh, because... Uh, yeah, let's do the Beatles, Twist and Shout. Goes like this. Da 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 Let's shake it up, baby, now, baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Yeah, walk it around, walk it around. Ooh. Dun, da, 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 da. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that was that. Let's do Elvis Presley Jail Jailhouse Rock, okay? Okay. Yeah, criminals, yeah, they're just like us, okay? They just made some mistake. And it just happened to be illegal, okay? We all make mistakes, so. Yeah, let's discipline them, but rehabilitate them, okay? Let's let them work in prison and learn how to work. Learn how to control their emotion. Yeah, let's educate them. And... After they become a good person, yeah, let them just, let's reintegrate them to our society. Okay, so, yeah. Because I, we don't want to discriminate against, against ex-felons, because what happened in the past, we cannot change it. Just like you cannot change your gender or your race. So yeah, hiring, not hiring this People with criminal records, that's kind of discriminatory, okay? Because you cannot change what you have done in the past. It's not like you, you invent a time machine and go back and undo what you have done. Okay, so it's a little bit discriminatory that uh, people don't want to hire uh, ex-criminals, okay? Because it, it, that's the driving force of recidivism. Recidivism. They go back to crime because nobody want to hire them, all right? So yeah, we're going to change all that stuff, okay? So to do that, what do you need to do? You need to know martial arts, okay? Because you're afraid of these criminals, okay? That's why you don't want to hire them. But if everybody knows martial arts, then you, you're you not going to be afraid of them, right? Yeah, I'm going to give you a second chance, okay? But if you flip and try to hurt me, you know, I, I'm ready, okay? Because uh, I know my charge, alright? So, uh, but I'm a nice guy, so I, I'm gonna give you a chance. And But if you do something with that, you know, uh, I'll, I'll teach you a lesson myself. You know, yeah, so, yeah, let's do that, okay? So, oh, well, but we did enough martial arts today, right? So, let's dance, okay? Jailhouse rock. Da 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 da. One two three four five six seven eight nine nine yeah, I'm kind of getting warm because I'm moving around. Uh, uh. All right, so we did some dancing, okay? Uh, uh, what else? What else is there to do? We have like 40 minutes left. Let's take a break, okay? We'll figure something out. Well, what to do and okay.
let's do some more dancing, okay? It's Saturday night and I thought about going to a bar or club, but uh, I don't want to. I'm lazy. I'd rather dance at home. Okay, so let's do Long Tall Sally by Little Richard, the Beatles remake version because I love screaming and this remake by the Beatles, yeah, they scream. I like, I love that. I love that screaming, this, ah. Uh. Gonna tell Uncle John, go long to Sally. Baby, hi, baby. Ooh, baby, have me some fun tonight. Yeah. Baby. Yeah, baby. Ooh, baby. Some fun tonight. Ah! Da 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 Okay, that's that. Ooh. Okay, I, I guess we uh, did enough dancing. We did enough martial arts. We are, I kind of feel like doing more martial arts. Maybe later. We have 30 minutes left. So let's um, do some um, studying. And we'll get back to that, okay? So, uh, all right. Let's talk about Holy Spirit and unclean spirits, okay? Uh, unclean spirits, dirty, dirty streets. The Bible is so nice. They call it unclean spirit, not clean. Because Bible is very humanitarian. They want to make people repent. Yeah, you are, Bible don't want to say you are dirty. They say you are not clean. Meaning they want you to be clean. So it gives some sense of hope some possibility, potential of improvement, repentance, okay? So I like that. Humanology love the Holy Bible, okay? Uh, we pay tribute to it, okay? So, yeah, unclean spirits um, and Holy Spirit, okay? So. When I grew up in South Korea, uh, my parents, I never saw my parents dancing. They are decent dancers nowadays, but when I grew up, they're just too busy. Okay, so. But I watched television and I saw these people dancing, so, oh, wow. Korean singers, Korean dancers, or, you know, in American Hollywood TV show, whatever. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. I want to do that, dancing like Madonna, Michael Jackson, or some Korean singers, dancers. Yeah, I, I want to do that. So I started practicing, okay? But when I was in Korea, I, I grew up in Korea until high school, okay? I graduated high school in Seoul, South Korea, and then I came to America, okay? I started dancing when I was in undergrad college uh, yeah I was a good student I got my final GPA in undergrad institution in the American Midwest was 3.9 out of 4.0 okay so I was almost all a student okay because hey, come on I came from Korea okay yeah I'm good at studying but I did go to some clubs during the weekends and um, after that yeah I went to uh, university as a PhD candidate 
with full scholarship, fellowship, and there I started dating. Okay, uh, I mean I wasn't very successful, but at least I started to try to date and to have a girlfriend. Okay, so yeah, I ended up dropping out, but I I studied fairly hard and I learned so many good things. And then I went to Los Angeles to become an actor and got a job in a McDonald's or Subway sandwich because I didn't know anybody and I just went there and I gotta pay my bills and so yeah I, I got some uh, experience with uh, you know ha making sandwiches and drive through McDonald's and sweeping the floor mopping the floor yeah how old was I I was like in my late 20s 27 or something 28 and I had full college degree, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. And I was a, a PhD candidate in full scholarship in a Ivy League school in the Eastern Coast. But I pursued my dream to be an actor, to be a celebrity. And I just drove that all the way to Los Angeles. And, uh, but I don't know anybody. I didn't have any job lined up for me. So yeah, I, I worked for McDonald's, Subway sandwiches in my late twenties with college degree and this PhD, two years of PhD experience in the Ivy League school. I was flipping burgers, making sandwiches, drive through, making french fries. <laughs> But later on, yeah, I got a computer programmer job. But I was making $30,000 a year. It was back in 2006. I was making $30,000 a year as a computer programmer. It was very first computer programmer job by using my education outside school. $30,000 in back in 2006. Okay. I, I, I still am tremendously grateful to these employers who hired me because I'm an oddball. I don't fit into any category. Okay, you get this PhD candidate, full scholarship for two years. Then you dropped out and you have worked for McDonald's as a burger flipper, drive through and french fry mopping the floor what the hell are you who the hell are you what, what the hell are you doing <laughs> your stupid freaking life so yeah not many employers would want to hire me because i'm unknown what are you doing who are you why are you doing all this stupid shit? obviously you're an intelligent person but why are you flipping burger in your late 20s how old are you you're like 28 and you're flipping burger after your, all your education and we, we don't know what to expect. Maybe he will quit one day and yeah, we don't want to hire you, baby. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> but some nice employers, they hired me. Yeah, they gave me just $30,000 a year when my colleagues in college they were making like seventy thousand dollars a year and they were their grade their gpa was lower than me lower than mine i was 3.9 but they were like what 3.4 3.5 they were making more than twice money that i was making by then okay so yeah so uh but i was happy i was in los angeles I was pursuing my dream. It's not money. No, I was doing my own thing. The freedom, American freedom, pursuit of happiness, <coughs> American dream. I, one day maybe I will be famous. I'll be the superstar, like Hall you know, Hollywood Sky, Los Angeles, California, this shining star over the Hollywood sky. I was happy, flipping burgers, or working as a computer programmer, making $30,000 a year, you know, renting one room, 
having roommates, I was still happy. I was doing what I wanted to do, pursuing my dreams to be an actor. Okay, I was very happy. Yeah, I was making very little money. I had this car that is not very good car. Probably that car was probably is older than you. <laughs> Many of you millennials. <laughs> yeah, but I was happy. Pursuing my dreams. I didn't have any money. I didn't have any girlfriend. But I was pursuing my dream to be an actor, you know. Because what I thought at the time was, you know, when I was doing PhD stuff, I was sitting in some of computer and what the hell am I doing? I'm not forever young, so when I'm still young, maybe I can record my image when I'm still young. So I'm young, I'm pretty now, but I will get old and crooked like this, like, yeah, when I'm still young, let's make some movies. My beautiful, youthful image. Okay, so I dropped out of PhD program. I'm eternally grateful to my professors and the alma mater, alma mater, Ivy League school, who provided me, and those rich sponsors of their fellowship program. I'm eternally grateful because their money and their efforts, their, their time and love for me, it did not go into waste, okay? They contributed to the development of humanology because I learned biology. I was in a computational biology program. I took a lot of biology, biochemistry, physical chemistry, all these great classes in that Ivy League school. So I learned a lot there, okay? So their investment on me, even though I dropped out, it did not go into waste. No, it became part of the humanology. And they gave money, love for free. I'm returning love, money, uh, this knowledge for free. Well, I have no money. I cannot give you money, but all this knowledge, I'm giving it to you for free, okay? Okay, so yeah, I'm giving something back to American society and to the world, okay? so Because they love me, I want to love back. That's the propagation, you know, passing love and I got love, Holy Spirit, and I'm giving you love and Holy Spirit in return. Okay, so Holy Spirit in humanology is good knowledge, like mathematics physics, humanology, okay? I got it from somewhere else, somebody else, and I give it, pass it on to you, okay? Propagation of Holy Spirit, good knowledge, ethics, love, caring, morality. Those are, those are Holy Spirits, okay? Yeah, good stuff. Dancing, yeah. Okay, so dancing, yeah, I didn't learn it from my parents or my teachers in Korea. I came to America, came back to America because I was born here. Um, but I watched all these TV shows and Madonna, Michael Jackson, and you know, music videos. And um, I was like, wow, it's so beautiful. I want to learn that. I want to dance like Madonna or Michael Jackson because they look so awesome. The invitation of Holy Spirit of dancing, danceism, Holy Spirit. So I started just imitating them, okay? Education, okay? Emulation. Yeah, propagation of Holy Spirit. Because so far, we focused too much on the evil spirit, evil ideologies. Let's shift our focus to the Holy Spirit. Okay? Yeah, Holy Spirit, dance-ism. Singing, 
ism acting ism good stuff things that are beautiful dancing martial arts singing fine arts sculpture mathematics physics yeah holy spirits okay yeah it's kind of secular but it's still holy spirits it's something very beautiful okay <clears throat> something that helps you martial arts dancing singing something that makes you happy but it's beautiful yeah holy spirits unclean spirits something very ugly bible is nice they call it unclean not wise not good bible is so nice but i'm not i'm i'm not that nice okay so tattoos piercings marijuana sugar fetism gayism they are ugly they are bad for you satanic devilish okay so that those are the unholy unclean spirits okay you better get out of there you better get out of there okay because otherwise you're gonna ruin yourself you're gonna ruin your children you're gonna ruin your grandchildren okay because if you are a carrier this vector of evil spirits it will pro it's contagious okay so you will propagate this evil spirits to other people you are being the tool the vehicle agents of the devil all right you have tattoos get rid of it save some money and go to plastic surgery and yeah have lasik laser surgery and get rid of those tattoos piercings yeah go go to plastic surgeons and save some money get rid of those piercings okay marijuana yeah stop smoking marijuana recreational marijuana is bad medical marijuana that's fine okay so every medicine has some side effects all right so yeah you, and uh gayism okay let's talk about gayism we talk enough about holy spirit okay so let's talk about some evil spirits gayism is this okay it come to you okay then it possesses you then it control you start to change you if you're a woman you're infected by this gayism metaphysical pathogen you start talking like a man you start walking like a man it possesses you are possessed by this gay demon lesbian demon okay so as you start to cut off your hair, you have short hair like a guy, and you start to let it go, you become very ugly thing. You obese, you pierce, tattooed. Oh my goodness! It ruins you. Okay, you say you talk about freedom. Oh, I have freedom to be gay. No, you don't. Okay, because when you this gayism possesses you, you do what it tells you to do. There's this fixed lesbian style you are confined by this lesbian style you have to have your hair cut short you have to talk like a boy you have to walk like a man you never wear skirts it restricts you it limits your freedom degree of freedom you have to be lesbian you have to talk like a lesbian you have to look like a lesbian it's not about freedom baby no, you're being possessed by gay devil, gayism, toxic ideology. You are a victim of gayism. Okay. It limits your freedom. Back in the days in your life, yeah, you used to, you used to be a beautiful girl with long hair. Sometimes you wear pants. Sometimes you wear skirts, depending on your mood. But now that you're infected by this gayism virus metaphysical pathogen you 
wear you cannot wear skirts anymore. You cannot have long hair anymore. You cannot talk like a girl anymore. You have to talk like a lesbian. You have to look like a lesbian. It's not about freedom. No. You are being possessed by lesbianism. That's not freedom. Okay? You're a slave of lesbianism. You no longer have freedom. You work for the devil of the lesbianism. You are an agent of that devil. Why am I, am I telling you all this? Because I want to free you. Just like Jesus said, truth will free you. When you are a sinner, you are a slave of the sin. Okay, so yeah, humanology, we take a lot of lessons from Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I didn't come up with this. It's something Jesus said. I read Bible and I learned from Jesus. Okay, so, okay, so uh, yeah, I want you, if you are infected by lesbianism, gayism, tattoo piercism, marijuanaism, sugar fetishism, if you are infected by sugar fetishism, you eat sugar fat all the time every day, now you are a slave of this obesity, you are heavy. You get sick because you're not moving around. Your body is so inefficient. So your joints start hurting. And you have this heart disease. Your blood vessels clogged by this fat. You're a slave. I want to free you. I'm telling you this because I want to free you from this slavery of sugar fatism. You don't have fun. That's why, yeah. That's why you eat sugar and fat. But there are some other good ways to have fun: singing, dancing, martial arts. Yeah, proper drinking of alcohol and mad, moderate, modest smoking of tobacco. Okay. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here to help you. Yeah, I'm sorry I apologize if I'm offending your sentiment, if I'm hurting your feelings, but I'm a man. I'm an adult man. It's my job to show you tough love, to discipline you, to correct you. Men can do this kind of work better than women can because we guys, we are aggressive, okay? We are... We have no problem, you know, like punching this or, you know, doing this. Like, uh, we are guys, okay? So, yeah, we are tough. Yeah, I have no problem hurting your feelings. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but it's something necessary. It's part of exorcism. To kick de a demon out of somebody, yeah. It's unavoidable that no pain, no gain, okay? So... I have to hurt your feelings. Do I like doing that? Sometimes. I guess I like making fun of people sometimes. But not always, okay? It hurts my feelings too. When I see you hurt, when I see you feeling bad about yourself, I mean, I'm there with you. It hurts my feeling too. But, don't forget that, I, I mean, forget about your past. Forget about who you are now. Focus on the future. Better tomorrow. Are you obese? Well, me too. I have this belly fat, like, oh my goodness. If I grab it, it's like two inches thick. I hate it, okay? I'm not gonna show it to you. It's like hairy and uh, no. Okay, muscle, yeah, I'm kind of skinny guy. Look at my forearm, right? Yeah, but I'm trying to build this muscle, right? And um, 
Yeah, I, I'm trying. Okay, try to better myself, and so should you, because you wanna be happy, right? You can only be happy in the right way. So, okay, there are two ways to be happy. A good way and bad way. Bad way to be happy. Oh, I'm going to eat all these chocolates and sugar and fat, these cakes, pizzas, cheese. They're yummy. Chocolates, candies. Yeah, I'm happy now because I'm eating all this yummy stuff, fried stuff. Oil, fat, sugar, yeah, that makes me happy. Donuts, pies. But there are good ways to be happy. Why don't you come up with some donut that has no sugar in it, but still tasty? It's not going to be easy. But Jesus said, yeah, do what's hard, because the road to perdition is wide. The road to salvation is narrow. Do what's difficult. Yeah, come up with some pizza that has no fat or sugar in there. You put all vegetables in there. Yeah, it's beautiful pizza. Like vegan pizza. Okay? I had one of that and it was great. Okay? Because Asian cuisine or African cuisine, many of them are very lean and healthy and deathly yummy. It has no sugar or fat, but it has all these herbs, plants, seeds, plant-based. Yeah, vegetarian food, vegan food, okay, but it's yummy. Why? Because this evolution of this culinary art in Asia or Africa, they knew, they learned how to make this wonderful food. It's out there. Study it and serve it in your restaurant, or in your household, okay? Yeah, it's out there, okay? All you gotta do is just go to their websites. You don't have to travel all the way there. No, it's in your website, okay? So, yeah, all kind of vegetables, okay? And lean meat, like turkey, chicken breast, lean stew, beef stew, stew beef, whatever. Lean meat or ground beef, whatever, okay? Yeah, you can eat healthy. Just put a lot of spice or herbs, vegetables. Wonderful food and cake. Yeah, come up with a cake, pies that has no sugar or fat in it. That's some product idea that I'm giving you, okay? So, because I, we need some healthy food in grocery store, in Walmart, that has less than 10 grams of sugar and 10 grams of fat per serving. Healthy pie, healthy cake, that has no sugar, no fat. Okay. Yeah. But it's still flavorful tasty because you have all these different vegetables too it's not easy to come up with that recipe but it's already out there my friends okay you you uh, study some culinary art of Asia and Africa Middle East it's there okay um, yeah So yeah, bad way to pursue happiness, sugar fed, marijuana, gayism, tattoo piercism, plastic surgerism, the bad way to pursue your happiness. Good way to pursue your happiness, invention, okay, exercise, diet, dancing, martial arts, studying, okay. That's about it, okay? Uh, I'm getting hungry, so I need to eat, and we only have five minutes, and so we're gonna finish it, finish here, okay? So, uh, yeah, I'm getting kind of sleepy too. Uh, yeah, thank you for being here with me, okay? I really appreciate you being here with me and being a good friend, all right? So, it's my political campaign here, and uh, because 
Okay, let's talk about some politics. We have five minutes left. Okay, we want to do our best. Okay. So. I think I told you about this many times before, but uh, sorry if I'm repeating, but uh, I want something special, okay? All these political candidates, politicians, they have advertisement and they have this, whatever, they give out speeches and rallies and they take donations from people and yeah, I don't want to do it that way because if that's just too ordinary. I want to be extraordinary. I want something special. Alright? I don't want to take your money. I don't want to have any advertisement because if you are a political candidate and give out this, what, 30 seconds as what advertisement, if you have this campaign website, I mean, you're, you're not telling anything about yourself. Okay, so then why should I vote for you? You you look pretty, you dress up nice, and but that doesn't really tell us about you. You okay? We wanna know you, real you, not some disguised, this pretended political facade. No, we wanna know you, right? That's what I'm doing right here. Okay, I'm I'm showing you my house myself okay this is my political one and only political campaign that i'm doing i'm not gonna do any political advertisement or because i got no money i want to i don't want to take your money either okay my political campaign is about giving power and money back to the people i, I don't want to take your money okay so from the very ghetto get-go yeah, I'm ghetto, okay, I'm gecko, start, right? I'm gonna do what I say, practice what I preach, walk the talk. I'm not gonna take your money, not now as a political candidate and not when I'm in the office. I don't want your money, I want you to keep your money, okay? So. I want something special. I want some miracle. I want to be the elected president in 2021 by zero dollar, zero penny campaign, zero dollar campaign financing by doing only this. Okay. I don't want to take your money. I don't want to do go this traditional track of doing advertisement and giving out speeches, no. I have a full-time job, okay? I have to pay my own bills. Just like you. Okay, I am you. You are me. We are hard-working Americans, taxpayers, okay? We work, what, 40, 50 hours a week, and we pay our bills, and we, there's nothing left. That's me, that's you, okay? Average American, okay? Okay, so, the, but if I'm very smart, I can become the president without spending a dime. If I'm smart enough. I believe in miracles, okay? I want to be this David, Shefar David. I'm not saying President Trump is Goliath. No, no, he's, he's a nice guy, okay? So. I want miracle, okay? I, I, that's what I want, okay? So uh, I want to be the president in 2021, okay? By doing only this, okay? Thank you. We have 10 seconds left. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Be peaceful. Get out. Of, be peaceful. Be nice, okay? Thank you.